Okay, so here we are. This is the map view. We're currently. Oops, I don't know what I did there. The uh, UI on this is a little bit twitchy. It just always seems to want to click onto Jupiter. I don't know, it likes Jupiter. So left click on objects to view them. Uh, if there's no object, it just draws a blank sphere. Uh, if you scroll right out, you can see we've got the inner solar system, Jupiter, Saturn, uh, Neptune for some reason. Don't know why Neptune doesn't have a thing. Uh, and orders uh, Uranus. And then you've got Pluto out the back there. So this is basically the map view. And this is when the player scrolls all the way out. This is what they're going to see. I'm sure why I've got my headphones on. <laughs> Get my headphones on because um, so each of these objects has a a sprite which is this little glowing ball thing and that is dependent on the object's actual radius in like real data. All of the data I got for this is off of Wikipedia, so it might not be right. If you take a look here, we can see the uh, the inner solar system. If we pop in the inner solar system, is the things I have textures for. So each each object, as I said, has a blob. Oops, they're the wrong size. You can see Jupiter is way overpowered. Uh, and each blob has a collision sphere around it. And when you click on the clip, which is in trigger mode, when you click on the collision sphere, it zooms the camera to that. Which is and because I've cocked up, I think, the size of Jupiter, it just wants to stick to Jupiter. Uh, so if I grab everybody's favourite planet Earth and zoom right in, you can now see that we've got a an Earth-Moon system. If I keep going in, you can see we've got Earth. Ta -da. Uh, ugh, damn you, Jupiter! Whoa. I need to. There is actually going to be like a. Uh, if you press like the map key, it will toggle between view levels. Um, so let's jump to Mars. Jump to Mars. Come on, you. Yeah. I think what's happening here is Jupiter is like overriding everything. Because Jupiter's an ass. There we go. 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 There we go. Uh, there'll probably be like down the side of the screen here, like a, a directory. So this is Mars, the red planet. And I don't know how easy it will be to click these because their collision area is tiny. Let's see if I can grab Phobos. Now I'm on Phobos. You can do it. You can do it. No. Can't grab Phobos. So, ah, and we're back at Jupiter again. <laughs> so, clearly a little bit buggy, but that's the the map view. Now, the way this kind of works is there's actually multiple layers. There's uh, four cameras happening here. One is a camera that just rotates on the spot, and that fills in the background. Then we've got the system camera, which is what we're seeing rendered here and then when you zoom in eventually you'll get to the um, it's like a tactical camera which will show you know things on the the 10,000 kilometer scale uh, and then when you zoom right in you'll have the player camera which shows thing on the meter scale like the player ships so from the tactical camera, the the players are going to like coordinate battles with like firing between ships and flanking around, flanking fleets around stuff. From the map view, you'll be able to right click on uh, right click on something and say you know travel here, and this will be filled up with not only just planets but things like um, uh, things like beacons and waypoint markers for uh, uh, for missions. Um, and from like kind of a, a close-in map view, you'll be able to scan things that are you know within like about one AU of your ship. Uh, so you'll be able to find like you know minor planets and that sort of stuff by basically uh, using sensor scans. 
Uh, yeah. So, from like an exploration point of view, the it's only the classic planets will be. My phone is just ringing. Um, it's only the classic planets that are going to be uh, actually like known objects at the beginning of the game and what the players will have to do is either send out uh, hire and send out exploration ships that will randomly fly around and explore and uh, and fill in the map for them or they'll have to fly around themselves uh, there will be um, all the moons of Jupiter, obviously there's no moons here at the moment uh, this is Saturn, Jupiter finally it wants to go to something other than Jupiter there'll be all the moons of, of Jupiter and Saturn put in, I need to work out uh, see if I can find like a CSV or a spreadsheet data source for that because typing in the XML that builds this was just a complete pain in the arse and I'm pretty sure I've got I think I've got the inclination of a lot of these planets wrong, uh, if you have a look from the top down you'll also notice that they're all in circular orbits um, so while this got inclination they're all in circular orbits because I'm lazy pretty much it um, from a from like a procedurally generated map point of view, I'm not quite sure the best way of doing this. Um, yeah, so that will uh, uh, I'll have to figure that out at some point. How that's going to work? Uh, I, I have been wondering about like a Kerbal Space Program type system where you go between. Um, uh, like area of influences and we've, there is uh, in the data if we jump to Mars bonk, if we jump to Earth say um, this is map level of detail zero which is just the nine major planets and then when you zoom in although it's not really implemented at the moment this is map level of detail one which is the first moons and then for a station orbiting the moon which uh, is just a, a white cube ball at the moment. Um, it will be uh, so some, something orbiting the moon will be level two. Um, so that's how that's going to work. Yeah. So I'm quite happy with this. This has been about a day's work, and it's got the the broad strokes. Um, Still quite a bit, a bit to go. Uh, one thing I found is that I'm getting slightly buggy cameras, where um, I've tried to. I've got the planets at, at, at the same scale as the planet orbits, and so this, when the camera zoomed right out, this is uh, hitting the edge of like the floating point limit on the cameras. And when you zoom in on objects, like zoom back in on the moon. I wear out my mouse wheel doing this. If we zoom in here, you can see that's as close as you can get before it, because that's 0 0.01 clicks away. And actually, if you look at this, you see that vibration happening there? That's jumping between floating point, like really tiny floating point values, which obviously is like a crap way of doing it. Um, so, what I want to do is I'm going to have the map layer as this at a smaller at a smaller scale so I'm going to add in an extra layer of uh, so it'll be a fifth camera which I'm not sure about but turning things on and off is going to be a major part of this uh, and then that will draw the um, that will draw in the planets on their own scale I think is how I'm going to do that yeah okay so that's where we're at at the moment so uh, from like a, a world view, we've got plenty of space for people to play around in. And uh, when I get back with some better data, I'll uh, I'll have all the moons of Jupiter and Saturn and Uranus and whatever in. Uh, is it Uranus only? That Uranus has one moon, or is that Neptune? One of them only has one moon. Anyway, great. So thanks for watching. This is uh, nine minutes of me talking while spinning a map view around. <laughs> So I'll uh, let you back. Rockin' guys, thanks for watching, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.